In this video, I'm going to talk about how we can import and export analysis data within inside the eCollect environment. First of all, to understand that we're talking about two different things here, model geometry and information, or analysis data generated within inside the eCollect on grid zones or surfaces. So I'm going to talk a bit about how we can import model geometry and information from Basara and Revit, and how we can export simulations done with inside the eco-check environment of zones, surfaces and grids. So I have now opened the eco environment and I'm going to show you how to effectively import analysis data as XML, green building XML, and how to analyze data generated with inside eco on zones and surfaces. So before going into the actual import with inside Ecotech. I just want to have a quick walkabout on Vasari. So here you see that I have used Vasari for creating an energy model using the uh, energy settings. And this is really the most effective way to generate kind of a baseline model on Duo 2 that we can import into Ecotech very fast and simple to create a baseline energy model for our design. So what's really important here is that if you just go to the Vasari icon and says export to mass model GBXML, then it won't understand your model as walls, windows, ceilings, roofs, etc. So what you have to do is you have to go to the analysis tab and export your model to the conceptual energy analysis. So when you have done that and you go to export mass model GBXML and import it, import into a uh, ecotech, then it will be able to recognize the different components here than more then it will be able to recognize the constructions as walls, windows. So if you're working with inside Revit, having a more detailed model, you should really make sure to go room and area, make sure that it marked as areas and volumes, go to a plane view and set up some sections to check out if, let's see, make a section and say go to view and really make sure that the rooms are going, are room bounding and that the top control and lower control are, are below the bounding surfaces or components within inside the model. Then go to a 3D view and go to export as GPXML and set the complexity here based on the model you're working with and export the model. So when that's done, so within inside the ecotech environment, we can go to files, we can go to import model analysis data, choose green building XML, drag in the XML file or whatever file we want to import. And you'll see that it's now generated all the spaces within inside the, the Revit model and it understands the walls and etc. But what we can do in here is that we can just check that it's understood standing for example here it's just guessing from the orientation that this is a million so what we can do is we can go to material and we can set this as a wall or a partition and we can make sure that these are correct we can also go in to materials and say selecting is select existing materials and just to make sure what this is that this is a wall and now we have the opportunity to look down in the library choosing whatever component so this needs to be this wall here and it maps this down to the library with inside ecotech and we can choose whether whether and we can choose what kind of grouping or structure we want to have with inside the zone management inside ecotech so to speed this up a bit we can save these settings out as a material translation list. So we can just say, call this uh, case repo, and we save this out. So let's say cancel, and we go to the folder again, and we drag it in again, and we go to load, and you'll see that it's really saved the location of this MTL file or material translation. So we load this, and you'll see that now it maps and makes the same structure. So we just say import, and because we did this mapping already, all the materials and surfaces are set up correctly with inside Ecotech. So now I want to look at how we can analyze the data from zones. So if you go to the analysis tab and we go to, for example, look at passive gains breakdown, and we calculate that. You see that uh, I just speeded it up a bit. So we get a lot of good input from this graph. But what we can do here is instead of just looking at the result with inside Ecotech, we are able to, or we are able to use the report generator to either send this out to Excel or use a predefined report with inside Ecotech. 
So to do this, we just right click and we go down to generate report and we can go just to choose. You could take CCS or Microsoft Excel or, or just a text file, whatever. So let's just try this out and we see now it makes a really nice report of the result from the zone. So we can do that whatever kind of simulation we do. So if we now turn on the, the analysis grid and we see that I did a daylighting simulation down here and we want to look at the data, not only looking at the data as a visual interpretation here, we go to grid management and we can just go to manage grid data and we can set analyze data and we'll then generate a report based on the settings where we want to look at the data. So that's a way that we can look at the data and extract data to either Ecotech or a gen report generator or take it out to Microsoft Excel. So here I have just prepared another model looking at solar radiation on surfaces model using solar simple and drag it in. And what I can do here is I just go to display settings, display object attributes, total radiation. And if you go to visualize, you'll see that it's now displaying the amount of radiation here and to check this out and analyze this data to compare the impact on existing buildings or the, the new development here we can just go to properties here and we can say analyze data so then we get all of the numbers and all of the things that we want to look at in a structured way so we don't have to set up the maximum and minimum and average values in, in Excel we can just take this graph or this report here and export it to Excel. Clicking the format, Microsoft Excel and say OK. 